Revolution Golfers, Martin Chuck here and welcome to the Raven Golf Club in Phoenix, Arizona. I've got a nice small little group in. Some of the people coming to the academy were a little afraid of the weather this week and rightfully so. This has been a tough week in Phoenix but the sun is shining right now and we're working on some mid-range pitch shots. We've got a den caddy down there at 30 yards and this is uh, kind of going back. We've got a couple Canadians in the group and then a returning veteran of four golf schools, my man. Thank you. But George Knudsen was my mentor. And so George at the National Golf Club in Toronto used to make all of us kids go through this little routine hitting some pitch shots. So we're going to try to collect the ball with enough force to make it fly into that den caddy. That'd be nice, huh? So big Jim Waldron right here. Not only long drive champ, but also pretty darn good wedgist. So I'm going to count you down, Jimbo, and let's go and do what we do and, and uh, pay homage to George Newton here. Count you down on a three, two, one. Go. And those are a couple of pretty good shots. Now we didn't hoop it, but those weren't too bad, right? No. Now take a look at how, if you look at Jim's posture right there, he's rotated, relocated, structured arms facing the target. Let's do that again. And the reason I'm making this a Revolution Golf tip is just so the viewers out there can also see that we do the same thing with you guys. So imagine when I was a kid, there'd be 10 or 12 of us on any given day at the National. Of course, you're familiar with. All the kids would be lined up there, and George would say, okay, kids, okay, ready? 50 yards, go. Three, two, one, we'd make this motion, right? What speed do we need to collect the ball with, rotate and relocate? And we'd stand there. And we'd be, if we could, he would work, kid, 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 he'd walk the line, and we'd get comfortable standing there. Well, if you can make a motion and be comfortable standing in your lead heel structured, right? Like if for five minutes, there's a lot of good things going on. Now, you, we couldn't do it right away, nor do I expect you to be able to do it right away. But, Jim, let's do it one more time. I'll count you down. we got to see if we can't maybe get lucky and hoop this 30-yard shot to that den caddy. Three, two, one, go. Right? So, a pretty good shot. I think you got me there, Jimbo. So, I'm, I'm standing there. He's standing there. Could stand here for 10 minutes. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay? Now, I don't necessarily expect you guys to be able to do that as easily as we did it because we've done it a long time, okay? But what did you notice, guys? You see how there was a narrow stance. Mm -hmm. The ball, we had a speed in mind of how the club paced and faced. Now, naturally, lefty, you're gonna be right here. Hit this golf ball, come on over, pal. Come on over, Scott, and Mike. Mike, you're right here. Dan, you're right there. Now, guys, I'm gonna be George, okay? You've got a 30-yarder, right? And I want you to do your best. Take a couple rehearsal moves right here. What does it feel like to move the weight of the club a speed in order to collect the ball, pacing and facing. Now here's the key, when you're done guys, this is what you have to do for me. You have to hold this posture and let me do my best George Newton routine for you, okay? So I'm gonna get ready to go, get a ball in place. You guys are doing great, narrow stances, getting ready to rotate and relocate and balance on that lead foot. And if you miss, you miss, it's okay, no pressure. Let's see if a golf ball gets in the way and if a golf ball goes about to that den caddy. So I'll count you down on three, two, one. Good. Now hold. There you go. Great. Now George would come along and he would kind of push here to see if you had structure. Right? He would push. Good. Good. And all I would say is you did a great job with your feet and legs, so way to go. Right? A little structure. And then maybe let this trail foot, you know, follow along a little bit more. You guys did amazing. Give me one more. You all ready to go? Okay. I'll count you down on and hold your finish so I can do the newts and walk the line on you and adjust where needed on a three, two, one, go. Okay, nice. So pretty spot on, you're getting some great results, right? Can you see how if you transport yourself to here, rather than worrying about the strike so much, you go to there, right? And I could come back here and still make this mild adjustment. See how the lead arm got a little soft, right? Mm -hmm. So think about that gentle structure there, rotated, relocated, know where you're going, right? And Dan, you look great. The only thing I could say maybe is, you know, let that, let that leg, let that femur get carried a bit more with the pivot, right? Give me one more. And so when you're going, when you're connecting the starting form to the finishing form, do so in mind that, you know what, it's okay to stand there for a moment. Right now, obviously not slow play, but you want to be able to transport the weight of the club nicely to your lead side. Enjoy the shot, okay? And get ready to go. I'll count you down on a three, two, one, go. And that's a skillful looking group. Now stay there, don't move. Okay, so George would come up and he'd look at you and he'd push that club and he'd rub his mustache and 
you did fine, fine young man, you did really well. And you, I know you're pretty good at this, mister. So Revolution Golfers, Martin Chuck here, signing off from the Raven Golf Club in Phoenix, Arizona. This little exercise, you saw it with three students here doing a great job moving the weight of the club, mindfully knowing where they're going, transporting a starting motion to a finishing motion. And when you can know where you're going, collect the ball along the way, you're gonna have some pretty nice results and hit those mid-range mid wedge shots nicely. So thanks for watching. Now post those questions down below and I'll get to as many as I can.